Hi, in this video, I'll walk you through a couple of examples to solve two variable k maps step by step. So let's dive into it. The given equation for our first example is f a b equals to min term of 0 and 3. This term, by the way, means min term. Min term indicates whatever the number given in this should be indicated as 1 in the matrix of k map. If it is a bit confusing to you right now, then don't worry. It will all make sense in a bit. Min term indicates is that whatever number present in the bracket, they will be considered as 1 and they will be considered as 1 in the matrix of k map. So let us draw k map for the given min term. Divide the cell into a and b. Call this 0, 1, 0, 1. Next what we will be do is give numbers to each cell of the k map incrementally from 0, 0, 1, 2 and 3 equation. Here 0 and 3 is to be numbered as 1 in the cell. So 0 and 3. Now next step is to group the ones. Here we do not have any particular groupings of ones as such and we cannot group ones in a horizontal way. That's not the right way. So what we will do is point out group 1 and point out group 2. Call this a group 1. In group 1, A and B both are zeros. So we will call them A bar B bar. If any number in K map is 0, it is indicated by a bar on the alphabet. Again, A and B are 0 and called bar because in this one, A and B both are zeros. Group 2, A, B both are without bar. Without bar means both of the terms B again is 1, A is 1 here as well. And now we will eventually combine the two. A bar B bar plus A B and this will be the answer for function a b let's solve another example now f a b function a b is equal to so min term 0 1 and 3 this time around so again this is the min term and all these numbers will be considered as 1 let's draw a k map Call this one A and call this one B. 0, 2, 0, 1, 2 and 3 will be the numbers given incrementally. It's B0, B1, B0 and B1. Again, what now we have to do is to find out where in the cell we need 1s. It's 0, 1 and 3 we need 1s. And 0, 1 and 3 that's where we need ones now next step is to group the numbers and we can group these two numbers and also we can group these two numbers as well here you can notice that this particular one is used in the grouping of this one and this one as well and so it can be done it is not a problem in kmap and now next step is to calculate both the groups in group one group one there are presence of two a b's so a b plus a b a b plus a b and now we need to find out where are zeros in the a b in first cell both a and b are zeros so we will call it a bar b bar and in the next a b in the second a b a is 0 b is 1 
so we will call it a bar b and now the second group group 2 again two cells means a plus a b plus a b there will be two a b's Now what you need to find out is first A B and first A B B is one A is zero so we will call it A bar B A bar B and in the second cell A is one B is also one so A B now next step is we will cancel out uncommon terms b bar and b a bar is constant in both the terms and here a bar is changing and b is constant finally we will combine both to have a output so a bar plus b is the output of the given two variable function of the min term 0 and 3 thank you so much for watching if there is any problem or confusion regarding this video or any of our videos please do write it in the comments thank you